local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. And just like yesterday afternoon, we're now tracking some slow moving downpours, especially in Allegheny County right near the city of Covington. So basically, as you drive along I-64 from Iron Gate to Covington and heading toward Callahan, just getting poured on right now north of Newcastle and another downpour just west of Lexington and looks to be just east of the Goshen Valley. We've got another shower right on the 419-221 interchange. So this is right near uh, Bojangles. This is also near some of the Kroger's in Cave Spring. You can also see uh, just a little bit of light rain around Patrick Henry High trying to get into downtown Roanoke, but some heavier rain right along 221 to right on the Floyd and Franklin County line. This is north of Ferrum College and trying to weasel its way eastward towards toward Boone's Mill. Probably just seeing a few sprinkles men yesterday. You, yesterday you guys had quite the hailstorm in Boone's Mill, but some heavy rain right now around rural retreat just to the south of Interstate 81, working its way towards Speedwell, Elk Creek and Independence. We're going to continue to track these pockets of very intense rain that could lead to some localized flooding today. Couple down trees still possible given the warmth and humidity. You could also see some small hail in just a couple storms. Future tracker at 2 p.m. showing that mostly near into the west of the Blue Ridge Parkway. But as we progress throughout the afternoon after about 3 or 4 p.m., Smith Mountain Lake, Martinsville, Lynchburg South Side could get in on some of this storminess. Now after sunset, we lose the warmth and humidity of the day, so gradually things start to taper off and look a little better for us heading into tonight and then eventually heading into tomorrow. So some patchy fog with evening storms tonight. Temperatures for the most part between 65 and 70 degrees, showing that we're still humid heading into tomorrow. But I think we stay dry most of the day tomorrow. If we do see a spotty storm or two, It'd be after 3 or 4 p.m., but you see high temperatures tomorrow afternoon in the upper 80s and lower 90s. So again, we'll keep things fairly humid. Dew points in the 60s showing there's a lot of moisture to be working with, but by Sunday and Monday, things feeling more tolerable for us as dew points fall into the 50s. And while all that's going on here, Cristobal, which is still a depression, is going to be working its way up toward Louisiana, likely making landfall in the Bayou State Sunday night, and then some remnant rain coming here by next Wednesday and Thursday. Your extended forecast showing things quite warm tomorrow as we kind of highlight Saturday for you. You see temperatures in the lower 70s to start, middle 80s at lunchtime, upper 80s and lower 90s. So if you want to spend the day out on the lake, there's still plenty of time to do that with Sunday being the final day for free fishing days in the Commonwealth. And it's looking like a great day for you. Temperatures middle 60s in the morning, 70s at lunchtime, not too humid, warming things up into the low to mid 80s by the afternoon and Monday still looking great as well. Nice and comfortable. High temperatures in the upper 70s and lower 80s, but more warmth, more humidity, making a return to the forecast by the middle of next week. Low to mid 80s next Tuesday and Wednesday. As, as the remnants of Cristobal come closer to us, it gives us the chance for some showers and storms late Wednesday into next Thursday.